Okay, so yes, good morning students. So now today we are going to start a new chapter. And what would that be? Okay. So yes, the chapter that we are going to start today is microorganisms, a friend or a foe. So before moving on to the chapters, we will see some good pictures. As you can see in front of you, there are some pictures and you have to observe these pictures for five seconds and then I will be asking your observations. Like what you are observing in the first picture. Let's talk about the picture, the first picture, this one. What can you observe in this picture? Yes, you can write your answers in the comment box below. Uh, yes, in the first picture, you can see the bread is spoiled. Yes, very good. What is growing on this bread? Mold, right? And why does it grow on the bread? Like uh, what condition did we keep in it, uh, keep it in that uh, it starts to grow in, uh, mold in it? Uh, if it have if we have not been eating it for a, a week and more than that yes if we have kept it in a okay if we have kept it in a moist place dark place yes very good yes you all gave the right answers then this uh, bread it starts to spoil what about the second picture what do you see in the second picture yes in the second picture uh, yes if uh, we leave the water like uh, undisturbed for a longer period of time and we do not clean the lake, then these algae, they start to form, right? Yes, you all are right. As you answered it correctly, like what is actually happening in both of these pictures, like these are getting spoiled. So uh, if we take this piece of bread and we put it under a microscope, so what will you observe? Yes, there will be some microorganisms, right? Some microorganisms will be there. Okay, so I will show you a picture and according to this picture, you have to identify. Will it be like this, similar to these types of microorganisms? Like here, as you can see in the diagram. Yes, it will be somewhat similar to this kind of microorganisms that we will be able to see. So those microorganisms, were you able to see it with the naked eyes? No. You are only able to see it with the microscope. So that's why those types of organisms are known as microorganisms. And now we will move on ahead and see some more details, right? Okay, so let's see these microorganisms. Okay, so in front of you, there is a flow chart. You have to read this flow chart and then we will see what this flow chart is all about. I will give you five seconds for reading and then we will move on ahead with this topic. So, yes, okay. Yes, you. Uh, I can see the right responses in the chat box. Like you're saying, microorganisms are of these many types, right? Yes, bacteria, algae, protozoa, fungi, viruses. Yes, very good, okay. Okay, and these uh, microorganisms are causing certain diseases also. That is also mentioned. So yes, now we will discuss what these microorganisms are and what are its type and what these type of micro microorganism diseases are caused. So bacteria, if we talk about bacteria here, as you can see, bacteria is causing typhoid and tuberculosis. That's a very dangerous disease, both of them. And then comes the algae. Just as we saw in the previous picture, the green color layer was formed above the lake, that was algae, right? And then comes the protozoa. Protozoa is causing which type of diseases? Dysentery and malaria. Yes, you all are right. And what is the disease is caused by fungi? Okay, ringworm and athlete scoot. Yes, very good. And what are the diseases caused by viruses? Cold, flu, chicken pox, and polio. Yes, so now I think you all have gotten the concept. So how many types of microorganisms are there? There are totally five types of microorganisms. First is bacteria, algae, fungi, protozoa, and viruses. So now we will also see these microorganisms in more detail, but first we will see how these microorganisms, they look, right? The structure. So yes, moving on to the next slide here. In your NCRTs also, you can see the different images. So these, the, so the first two images, they show the bacteria. This is how the bacteria looks. Like cylindrical shape, small pill shapes are there of bacteria. 
and then comes the algae. And algae, there are two examples, Chlamydomonas and Pyrogyra. So they both have an interesting structure, right? And then comes the protozoa. And protozoa, what two uh, organisms they are coming? Amoeba and Paramecium. Yes, what about the fungi? What are the organisms that are in fungi? There are bread molds. So the mold the bread was having comes under which a microorganism? It comes under the fungi. Yes, very good. Then comes the penicillium and then aspergillus. So these are some of the types of the microorganisms, like bacteria is having certain types, then protozoa are having certain types, algae are having certain types, fungi are also having certain types. So these are the different types of microorganisms that we find around us. So now are you all clear with the concept of uh, microorganisms and its type? If you have any doubt, we will wait for five seconds. You can ask in the chat box and then we will move on it. Okay. Yes, very good. Okay, so now I think you have no doubt. So now we will move on ahead. Okay, so now coming to the pictures, as you all know today, uh, like nowadays, uh, there is COVID going on, like right? COVID disease. So uh, uh, like this COVID is caused by which type of microorganism? Yes, you can write your answers in the chat box. Yes, you all answered it correctly. It is caused by the virus, as you can see in the images also. This, uh, this is how the viruses look. Viruses have different types of shapes, right? And this also, it has different types of shape as this also is having different types of shape. So it can be of different types of shape. So yes, you all answered it correctly. So now we will move on to the question part for this uh, module that we just read. Okay, now coming to the fill in the blanks. For each and every question, you have to write your answers in the chat box. Okay. So microorganisms can be seen with the help of what? With, uh, we cannot see them with the naked eyes, right? So, uh, so what we will use to see microorganisms? You can write in the chat box. Yes, it comes with M, something M. It is a machine or instrument that comes with the first letter is M. Okay, yes, you all answered it correctly. It is a microscope. Now coming to the second question, typhoid is caused by which organism? Typhoid is caused by which organism? Yes. Any answers from your side? As we just read the table above the, the flow chart with that we read, it was written. So which organism was causing? Yes, it was caused by the bacteria. Yes. So you all gave the right answer. It was caused by the bacteria. So oh, yes, so now we will move on ahead and see some more topics in detail. So now we just saw microorganisms and its type and which diseases it causes. So as you all now know that these microorganisms are very harmful, but these microorganisms are very helpful for us also. So do you find any examples around you that in, such, in which cases these microorganisms can be helpful to us? Okay, I will show you one picture and then you can, from this picture, you can identify which uh, microorganism is involved and how is it helping us. Yes, you all answered it correctly. This is the curd, right? Curd that we use at our home, our mother it uses at our home, curd. So as you all know that curd is also caused due to, um, like it is made with the process of fermentation. Fermentation with the help of which bacteria? Yes, bacterium lactobacillus. This is the bacteria that causes this curd to ferment, right? So this is one of the good use of the microorganisms that are around us. Oh, so yes, you all gave the right answer. So now, now how many of you have seen your mother cooking at home a cake or a bread? Cake, bread, anything like that? Does your mother cook? Yes or no? Okay, I can see yes. Most of you are writing yes. Okay, so yes. So what do you think your mother uses for the cake, for the dough of the cake to ferment and to rise? Yes, any guesses from your side? Yes, yes, very good. Your mother uses yeast. So now we are going to study about yeast, right? 
Okay, so now we will see some more details about yeast. Okay, so now we will move on ahead and see some more details. So yes, let's read some fun facts about yeast, right? So yeast reproduces rapidly and produces carbon dioxide during respiration. As you can see in factories, yeast is used in large amount in the bakery factories, right? Yes, it is used in large amount. Bubbles of the gases fill the dough and increase its volume. So this is, this is the reason why the bread or uh, the dough, it rises when it is kept or fermented for a longer period of time. Okay, so now we will see some more details. This is the basic basis of the use of yeast in the baking industries for making bread, pastries and cakes. Now you know how your favorite things are made and which organism is helping you to make it? Yes, it is the yeast. So now I think you will remember it, right? So now let's move on ahead and see some more details. Okay, so now uh, this fermentation process, you have seen that it is very important in different processes you saw, like in baking industries, it is very important. And also it is used for making alcohols also fermentation. It's used in making alcohols also. As you all saw, like this is so important process, fermentation. Then who do you think discovered it first? The first man who discovered this important process. Because if he would have not discovered, we would not have been able to eat these so tasty cakes. So who do you think discovered it? It was? Yes, any guesses from your side? Oh, it is a curiosity question. So yes, who discovered it? It was Louis Pasteur. So Louis Pasteur was the person who discovered the process of fermentation. So now coming to the question, yes. So yeast is used in the production of what? Sugar, alcohol, hydrochloric acid or oxygen. Which one of these uh, uses yeast? for its production? Yes, you have to write your answers in the chat box and then we will move on ahead. Okay. Yes, I'm getting the right response. So I will give you some time. You can write it till then. Yes, the right answer for this question is, it is alcohol. So alcohol is using this yeast. Okay. So now coming to the next question, the bread or idli dough rises because of which process? Heating, grinding, growth of yeast or kneading? So which one is the right one? You can write your answers in the chat box and then we will discuss. So yes, uh, you all answered it correctly. It is the growth of yeast cell. This is the reason why the dough of the bread or Italy, it rises. Okay, so what is the process of conversion of sugar into alcohol called? Nitrogen fixation, molding, fermentation, or infection? Yes, you have to now answer it. Yes, you all are right. You all answered it correctly. It is fermentation. So now we will move on ahead and see the recapitulation part of what we learned today. So coming to the recapitulation part, we learned the different types of microorganisms that we can see around us. So what were the different types of microorganisms? There were a total five, right? Yes, you can write in the chat box till then. Yes, first was bacteria, algae, fungi, protozoa, and viruses. And in bacteria, what was the disease caused by bacteria? Tuberculosis and typhoid, right? And what were the examples for algae that we discussed? Pyrogyra and? Yes, Chlamydomonas. Yes, very good. And what was uh, the harm caused by fungi? Yes, bread mold, it was causing the bread mold. Yes, very good. And name one example also of fungi. It was penicillin, right? Yes, very good. Coming to the protozoa, what, what, what was the disease caused by protozoa? Was dysentery. Yes, very good. And virus, what was one of the disease that is caused by virus? You can easily see it right now. It is COVID. Yes, very good. And we also saw the uses of microorganism in industrial region. Like what was the, uh, where was these microorganisms used? Yes, yeast was used in the B 
bakery uh, factories, right? And in daily activities, where was this microorganisms used? In fermenting of curd, yes. In the fermenting of alcohol, yes, very good. So now I think you all are clear with the concept. Now moving on to the homework part, let's see. So these are some questions and you have to solve them. So by this, your homework will be finished. So now if you have any doubt, I will be giving you 10 seconds to write your questions in the chat box and we will clear it. And if not, then we will end our class here. Okay, let's see. Okay, yes. So I think uh, no one is having a doubt. So yes, so thank you students and we will meet in our next class with some new and interesting topic. Okay, thank you.